guys, McMedia Girl here. So a few days ago, I did a video asking you guys for suggestions for colors and technique for this large 36 by 36 inch canvas that I have. So it's going to go back here. Now I got, uh, it was a little overwhelming actually. I got probably, I don't know, 500 to 1000 suggestions. I have not had time to go through all of them. So I will still go back and go through the rest of them because there were some really great ideas. But uh, one thing that quite a few people actually said is maybe have a rotating piece there. So don't just do one thing, do different ones. Um, although some people said to do different techniques on the same canvas, but I think that's actually a great idea to kind of do a series where I can do maybe, I don't know, six of different techniques on a canvas this same size and then we can basically rotate them out of course if any of you want to purchase them you can so i'm going to start with as you guys know probably my favorite technique is a tree ring and my favorite colors are blues especially with gold and then i like to use pops of like purple and lime green i think looks great with this color combo so that's what we're going to start with today and I need about 80 ounces of paint to cover this canvas. Um, I have six cups here that are, these are eight ounce cups, but if you fill them up to the top, it's about 10 ounces. And then I'm gonna just use a healthy dose of base coat here. So let's go ahead and get started with filling the cups. Now, because these cups are in fact going to take a while to fill up, I have, uh, this will be about 60 ounces of paint. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this part up. I'm going to actually layer each cup pretty much the same way unless I run out of any colors as I'm going. And we'll just, I have a quite a variety of blues here. These look kind of dark, but they're just, uh, this is a dark teal, this is dark blue, and this is a dark navy blue, and then I've got some lighter blues and a couple of purples, golds, so we're going to have fun. I'll go ahead and speed this up. about tilting this. This table is kind of high and I am very short. I may have to get a stool in order to tilt. Um, and I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to start off with this electric purple base. And then in that, I'm going to also do some white. Go ahead and start by spreading this around a little bit because basically we're going to do this in kind of sections a bit okay i'm worried about tipping those cups over so let's not do that too much <laughs> all right here we go here's the fun part so i'm going to start right in the middle here Now what I've found when doing a tree ring on a very large canvas, it's kind of hard to get the whole thing covered how you want. So what I like to do is basically do it in sections. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pour two of these cups and then I'm going to tilt and then I'm going to pour a couple more and then tilt some more. And that has been the method I found that works best when trying to do a tree ring on a large canvas. Hopefully my arms don't get too tired. We're just 
just starting to spread this out. And I can already tell I'm going to be very happy with these colors. And hopefully I can get good coverage here. Okay. That's a good starting point. Go ahead and do the next couple here. And I'm going to go pretty much right in the middle of that design. I don't have to. You can go off to the side. But we'll go kind of right in the middle there. stretch here I already have really good coverage now before I do the final tilting here I want to make sure that I'm not gonna have any issue getting my corners covered here so I'm actually gonna go ahead and just take a little bit more of this electric purple and just make sure I hit up my sides here just so we don't have any issues whatsoever
trying to kill myself to cover these last couple corners here because I'm very happy with this. I'm just taking some leftover paint from my cups here and just doing some ribbons on those corners. Just two of them here. And that will blend nicely. I am very happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and get this raised up on some painter's pyramids and then I will bring you all in for a close-up. All right, let's do our close-up here. I could not be happier with how this came out. I got beautiful coverage on the sides. It was definitely an arm workout to tilt this big canvas, but I could not be happier. So pretty. I love, love, love these colors together. Such, just, it's literally just a perfect color combo here. I did use a couple metallics, and so you can see kind of some cells throughout here in the gold. And there we go. Um, so, stay tuned. I think we'll call this the big canvas series and I think the next one that I do will probably be a bottle bottom. Um, I will be doing a couple resin pieces in this series as well including a really big beach scene which I think will be awesome. All right, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this. I could not be happier with how this came out, and I'm so happy that I now have the space to do these big projects. So stay tuned for the next one. I'll show this one dry. It'll be up on the wall behind me, and then we'll do the next project. I'll probably do one every couple weeks or so. Um, and I will go through all of the rest of the comments and suggestions that you awesome guys gave me on both YouTube and Facebook. I'll pick one winner from each for like best suggestion, although there were so many really awesome ones. And I'll get you guys uh, those, those two winners. I'll get you guys a little prize. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please, please, please do me a big favor. Click uh, that like button and click that share button and also make sure you subscribe or follow if you have not. I also am working on building up all of my social platforms so make sure you're following me on Instagram, on YouTube, Facebook, uh, TikTok, everywhere. Go ahead and give me a follow. I'll see you all next time.